guys, my name is Attorney Walter Ruffnall III, and I wanted to point something out. I had to do a recent video on basically CNN and their, their significant drop in viewership. I did a video on ABC, uh, Today Show stuff, uh, significant drop in viewership. And I, I just want to point out here's why, okay? There's too much politics in news. There's too much politics in news. We need to get back to things like this right here. Good Morning America came out with this. Uh, I applaud them for doing so. Paralyzed man uses exoskeleton suit to get down on knee to propose to girlfriend. Josh Smith, a quadriplegic, uh, has been unable to walk or perform most activities after an accident seven years ago. This was uh, by Rebecca Anderson. Uh, this was produced on... There's no date on this thing. There's no date on this thing. Anyways, that, I mean, the date's not really important. but um, And this isn't even so much about this particular article. But my point here is this. I, I think strategically... We need to expect from our news stations a better balance of news that's coming out and incorporate things that are impressive based upon uh, negative expectations. Like uh, a gentleman getting uh, an exosuit, right? How, do, how would he obtain an exosuit? Who knows? Uh, they're expensive. Uh, you'd have to somehow work something out. Uh, maybe it was donated for him to be able to do it. But that's kind of my point. You're, you're seeing the building of a, a movie arc, right? A feature film arc, right? Man overcomes severe uh, extreme impairments, quadriplegic, extreme impairments by you know networking together the opportunities to obtain an exosuit to go forward and be able to uh, get on one knee to propose uh, to his you know new fiance. We don't see that stuff in the news that much anymore. And that's a problem because the news is supposed to be somewhat balanced. It's supposed to have positivity in it. It's supposed to have excitement and fun and regular people overcoming extreme measures. Now, there's another side of that. There has been a significant uptick in the amount of people creating fake uh, saving of animal videos. And, and I want to point out why that's so horrible. Um, obviously, you know, I, I work with a lot of individuals that are mentally unsound. Obviously, you know that I work with a lot of individuals that some of them, they just, they don't look at society or care about society in the same way or care about people doing well. And I want you to understand this. There are people that will literally injure their pet to take them to the vet to get pain medication that they can then sell. There are people who will purposely put animals in precarious situations and then pretend like they are saving them to get more views on YouTube. The unfortunate thing at this point is that now we have to figure out who is a good person and who's pretending to be a good person that's actually an evil person. So I, I would like you guys to, to get really good at doing an assessment. You know, when you see a guy video after video releasing his ability to save a wolf from a bear trap over and over and over again, I want you to think, how did he get so good at interacting with these wolves and pulling them out of a bear trap? after the seventh you know wolf was caught and there he is doing video seven i need you guys to start thinking with your your uh, your lawyer caps if you will or your, your your deep thinking caps to try and figure out specifically what's realistically going on here that is a great story the gentleman was able to obtain an exosuit for the purpose of creating uh, a, a pleasantry of life of, of of marriage you know it's a moment it's a tradition it's the guy gets on the knee and then presents you know that's how it works and i think what's interesting is that we don't see a lot of that so if you ever get a chance to essentially vote for more positivity in news more diversity for including more posi uh, positivity in news I just wanted to point that out. I think it's incredibly important. I think we should go that route. <clears throat> I was about to say it's a new route. It's not. I think we need to go back to the road we were on and, and start to have news in that regard. Because and, and here's the negative offset of this. And I just want you to consider it. Consider all of the news articles, right? Have that cognitive moment. Think of all the news articles, the anti-Biden, the anti-Trump, the anti-this, the anti-that. All of those are eating up the space of the pie chart, right? Where you could be learning about things that would make you happy. And a lot of people are burnt out with the news because of this, because all they're seeing is negative, angry, I can't believe this, why is this going on, political games, etc. We don't need more of that. What we need more of are uplifting stories. 
That's what we need more of. Anyways, guys, my name is Attorney Walter, if not the third. I will catch you a little bit later. Remember, I donate two hours and I go live 8 to 10 every Thursday, Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. You can call the phone number and I'll try and answer whatever questions you have. Also, remember, when you get on there, use a fake name. I can either answer a question or run hearing questions with you. Uh, I'm a disability attorney, so if you want to ask me questions outside of that, remember, I'm probably not going to know the answer to it because I just don't practice every single field of law. Um, I hope all is well. I will catch you a little bit later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.